You all said very mean things about me. Very mean things. I don't want to go into that right now. We will talk, talk about it later. But one thing I must say that all that old gang who wrote really mean things about me, now whenever they meet me, the old gang not here. Whether it's Omar, Hari, Shashwin, Sarita, uh, Simi, all of them, Sarita that old gang. Writing for, Sarita, you're writing for. They now tell me that you're the only consistent one. I don't know why we did that to you. You're the only one who was like that before and is like that now. So that's a, that, 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 that I believe a compliment coming from this team. The, your... Yes, go on. I think that's it. Yeah, please, that's an enough compliment. Thank you so much. The main is considered to be, you know, like you take all or anything. What is your take on that? You know, how do you uh, define beauty? Oops, that's a tough one. Um, how do I define beauty? I mean, for me, honestly, uh, it's not all about the looks. And I'm serious about it. Uh, my husband will kill me about it. <laughs> he say, what do you mean? <laughs> but it is what the human being is all about. So for me, um, actually it goes that, okay, you could have a beautiful face, but you could have a real mean heart. So for me, it is what, what you are within as well. And, um, you know, I have seen that happen in front of people. There are some people when you meet them, uh, I mean, from their eyes, it's, it actually mirrors what their soul is. You can come to know that shrewdness, that, you know, that the meanness comes on their faces. And you can actually tell, you know, you don't immediately get a good vibration. And there are some people who are just so positive. They're so, they're so vibrant and you want to be with them. You know, they're warm people. And I think that's what's beautiful. That is what is, what you're within is ultimately what matters. I mean, outside beauty is okay. Huh? Nowadays, doctors can do anything for you. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Nowadays, science is superb. I need to prepare. I'm very bad at this when I'm like thrown. Decriminalize it or not? Ooh, what? Yeah, I know. Yeah. See, for me, I have a different take on it. I have lots of friends who are gay and happily gay and proudly gay and they're not hiding it. And uh, I think, the, I mean, ultimately one has to realize that a human being is a human being. You know, it's his freedom of choice or her freedom of choice. So, uh, honestly, my take on it would be, I don't know how it's gone into this, this zone at all. Because ultimately, all, everyone's a human being. So, there's nothing like, uh, you know. In fact, if you go down old Indian history, you know, any, any civilization, this has always been prevalent. So when did this turn come off of, oh my God, that, you know, this has to be decriminalized or criminalized in the first place? I don't know where that started in the first place. So if you go down ancient Indian history, we had certain sects and they were ac accepted. I mean, if, now let me not go into yeah, the, you know, in, in, into the, you, yeah, exactly. So for me, it's, it's a human being, yeah. It's his freedom of choice, what he wants to do, what she wants to do, where she wants to be. But coming totally. on this one that uh, I'll just extend it a little further, what, do you, what is intolerance? You always put me in a spot. <laughs> you always put me in a spot. Last time also you asked me something no, like this only. Anything, you can answer these questions. You know, this is a health and nutrition thing, yeah? Okay. Yeah, let's not make it into a political debate. Okay. But I you have an exercise and diet chart for your kids and husband, Ravina? My kids, no, but my son is quite an athlete and poor chap has my tendency of putting on weight. But uh, he's too young, yeah, and automatically I think he will share it because he's very, very active. He's, uh, he's an athlete and stuff. And my daughter's, uh, she does her dancing and her swimming as well. So I believe in giving children a lot of outdoor activities because unfortunately the generation that is now is only so full of indoor things, whether it's the iPad or it's, uh, you know, the indoor games. It's not like how probably you and me grew up. You know, playing Sakli and Dubai Spice and, you know, like, we used to come dump our bags and be out in the building playing till our mothers used to be hollering, come on home, you know, from the uh, windows. But this generation is different. So I, but I have tried to put my children in, uh, in a lot of outdoor activities and, and yes, I don't do use sunblock for them for that one hour, it's fine. They need that kind of sun for at least that one hour. So I'm good with it. I mean, I've seen a lot of mothers... Uh, you know, oh, don't, oh, it's so, uh, it's so hot. How will the children, are we used to play a whole day in the sun, yeah? You know, Saturday, Sundays, 9 to 4, we used to be playing outside without any sunblock and sun creams and stuff, and we all survived. So it's, it's fine. To a certain degree, I think mothers should let go, you know, uh, that 
paranoia of oh uh, I I don't want my daughter to swim it's too hot let's go at six o'clock for swimming I was like why I mean she needs that bit of a sun and then this sudden thing of oh you know I went to my doctor and my doctor says I don't I have lack of vitamin D everyone is now doing these vitamin D tests because we've kind of lost that thing of you know uh, just being and and soaking in the natural uh, process of what it should be. But uh, you know when uh, when it comes to uh, you, you're a family person, you're a mother, and uh, you're a homemaker. But are you a very doting mother or like how? You just said that you a doting get, mother. Um, uh, strict, doting, very careful, precise. No, I, I I believe that there needs to be a good upbringing. I believe there needs to be some sort of discipline. I do believe that. Uh, uh, there needs to be a basic courtesy and manners that are need to be taught, uh, whether it's uh, you know respecting our elders or respecting our culture or our traditions. But yes, children will be children. You gotta let them be kids at some times as well. But Just let them do what they want. Who's strict in your house? You or your husband? Uh, I think we take our turns. Okay. Yeah, there are times when I just put hands up and say, okay, I'm done playing the bad uh, bad cop. Now it's your turn. You know. Uh -huh. So uh -huh. yeah, so it's a good cop bad cop thing which we. Uh, shuffle between us. Also, we uh, know that you have adopted uh, two uh, girls and one has just got married. Uh, how does it feel? The whole Both are married. No. Both are married. Yeah, one married. got married like 2011, now she okay. has a little so baby. You can just say a little, how does it feel? It feels know. great. <laughs> <laughs> feels great. But uh, are it's you. It's unconditional, it feels great. Uh, you know, um, uh, I mean, uh, this is a question you're asking me now, but I kind of did it in 2000. Um, whether I did Daman or I did a film called Jago, where I was playing, I mean, uh, Shan played my son in law yeah, in a film at that time. You know, so I have no hang ups as such. Uh, what is the next step? I, I hear that uh, politics is ringing bells for you. I, I don't know where that came from. Not from your uh, publishing house, for sure. Yeah, but uh, so much out there. That, uh, no, that's that's just because I voiced my opinion doesn't mean I'm I'm as a concerned citizen uh, of this country as much as you. And when it comes to uh, my country uh, getting portrayed as to what it is not, uh, then obviously I think uh, not only me. I think everyone should speak out because ultimately, it's, uh, if you see the bigger picture, it is going to harm us because internationally. Uh, when uh, whether it's it's it uh, all all the international press, whether you take the Washington Times or the New York Times or or the Guardian or, or international press, and you see the articles they're writing about our country, yeah, yeah, yeah. and you kind of feel embarrassed because that is not a, a few uh, bad uh, unfortunate uh, stray incidents mm -hmm. cannot speak for you and me yeah, exactly. or all of us in this room. We aren't like that. Have you ever questioned who your next door neighbor is? You haven't questioned him for his faith or his or whoever he is. We are all fine. So a few cannot portray exactly what my country is. So that is where, as a concerned citizens uh, uh, of, of, uh, of our country, and when we want to see it prosper, and when it is taking a good course internationally, I think we should speak up. Because um, ultimately, how will we all suffer? We'll suffer economically. You know, in internationally, people will be scared to invest in this country. They'll say, oh my god, no, this country is a mess. Let's not go into this country. And who's going to suffer? So see the bigger picture. You know, ultimately, it's our name and our reputation that's going to suffer. Economically, we will suffer. But I think you're a good candidate. So even if you have to go towards... I also do believe that good people, if we want to see the change that we want in this country, we all sit and we discuss, oh, this politician or this government didn't do this. Are ye dekho kya hai, are potholes dekho, are ye dekho. But ultimately, if good people don't join politics or good people don't become the face, how are we expecting them to change? Because then your local bhai is becoming the next MLA, yeah? Your local, uh, you know, uh, gunda who's been uh, uh, probably bullying everyone, suddenly is bullying everyone for votes and tomorrow he's your minister. So what do you do then? How do you change it? So How will the system change? With clean heart and with good intentions coming there and guiding us and showing, you know... I also believe in that. But for now, I don't see myself... Uh, because I feel uh, like my husband tells me jokingly, you're so honest, you'll be the first person to get assassinated. <laughs> so he says, I don't think this is cut out for you. So yeah, so right now, no, it's okay. not cut out. Na Pradeep? Pradeep, how many years do you know me? 25, right? What's your heart in your heart? Now you're going to be a big deal. Alright, I think two more questions and then we'll wrap up. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, 